Introducing Suture Seal, a new and innovative liquid bandage system from Medicus Biosciences. Suture Seal is a long lasting transparent bandage that is used for both wound coverage and suture coverage. Suture Seal is a long lasting biodegradable polymer that has been used on hundreds of wound cases with zero reported adverse reactions. Suture Seal is a unique hydrogel bandage for closed incisions in various wounds for all different species of animals, reptiles, exotic animals, aquatic sea mammals, birds, and fish. The proprietary polyethylene glycol formulation can withstand licking and chewing once applied. Suture Seal lasts up to 14 days, unlike other products that require hourly or daily application. Suture Seal also dissolves naturally due to its biodegradable formulation, which is widely accepted by veterinarians as an alternative to the traditional wrap bandages. So how does Suture Seal work? When applied as a thin coating, it forms a protective layer that prevents dirt and debris from entering the suture or wound. Suture Seal is odorless, tasteless, flexible, transparent, and designed to support the healing process. Let's look at Suture Seal versus traditional bandages. Suture Seal requires no bandage changes. Traditional bandages must be removed and replaced multiple times, increasing the risk of infection. Suture Seal offers cost savings, time savings, and ease of mind to both the pet owner and veterinarian because of the transparent gel that allows constant observation of the wound for proper healing activity. No more use of harsh sprays, aerosols, or creams. Suture seal can be applied with a brush-on application to areas normally inaccessible to bandages, such as the muzzle, face, ears, abdomen, and the paw pads. Since suture seal is flexible, it does not constrict movement of the animal with no harmful oils or alcohol. Suture seal is not irritating to sensitive areas or wounds. The polymer is porous enough to allow oxygen to flow through the wound for optimal healing. When is the best time to use suture seal? Many veterinarians recommend using suture seal on any open wounds, cuts, scrapes, abrasions, and burns. Suture seal has shown success on hot spots and lick granulomas. Also, all surgical incisions such as orthopedic surgeries, spays and neuters, mass removals, amputations, paw pad cuts and scrapes, ear lacerations, and many, many more. Activation and application is very simple. In each foil pack of suture seal, you will find one syringe containing the dry powder polymer and a second syringe containing a sterile liquid for mixing. Also included in the foil pack is a sterile application brush. Remove the caps from both syringes and connect them together. Mix the contents back and forth between the two syringes for 10 seconds or approximately 15 plunges. Next, push all the liquid into the male syringe and disconnect the two syringes. Attach the sterile brush tip and brush a thin layer of the polymer onto the suture or wound area as you push on the plunger. You will have approximately 60 seconds of working time to apply the liquid to the site before it turns to a gel. A single suture seal packet has enough polymer to cover a 15 cm long surface or the equivalent square wound area. Suture seal should be refrigerated between uses for consistent gel times. Suture seal can be out of refrigeration for 5 days but should be kept in the refrigerator if it will not be used within that time. The best temperature for application of suture seal is room temperature. Introducing suture seal from Medicus Biosciences. These are the directions on how to properly mix suture seal. Please note in this video, we are using a single suture seal packet that contains enough polymer for a 15 cm long suture or equivalent square wound area. Inside the foil pouch, you will find two syringes. One 2.5 milliliter syringe containing solid white powder, the gelling agent, and one 3 milliliter syringe containing a liquid, phosphate buffer solution. Also, there is a sterile application brush. 
Open the foil pouch and remove the two syringes and the application brush tip. Remove the sterile application brush from the brush case and have it ready for use. Remove the caps from the two syringes and connect them together. Mix the contents of the two syringes by gently pushing the plungers back and forth for 10 seconds or for about 15 strokes. Use a timer as it is easy to lose track of time which will cause the product to become too viscous to apply. The formation of tiny bubbles in the mixture is normal. Once mixed, push all the liquid into the larger male syringe. Disconnect the two syringes and then attach the sterile application brush tip. After the products are mixed, you have approximately one minute to apply the suture seal polymer to the sutures or wound area. Push the syringe plunger until the suture seal polymer dispenses from the brush tip. Brush the suture seal polymer over the suture line or wound area in a thin, even layer. Suture seal is sometimes difficult to see because it is transparent or a milky white color. Runoff excess liquid is expected. Within two minutes, the suture seal polymer will become an adherent gel. Suture seal will remain on the suture or wound area for 14 days and will biodegrade away slowly. Reapply a second application of suture seal if the suture or wound is not completely healed after 14 days. For proper storage, suture seal should be refrigerated if not used within 5 days. Remove suture seal from refrigeration 10 minutes before mixing the contents for ideal product application. Apply suture seal at room temperature. Let's look at some before and after pictures of suture seal and open wounds. This Labrador Retriever had an open wound on her paw. Suture seal was applied and the pictures were recorded on day 7 and 14 after application to show the healing process with suture seal. In this before and after you can see that suture seal was applied to a paw pad. The picture on the left shows a painful paw pad tear. Suture seal was applied to coat the open wound and 14 days later, the paw pad is completely healed. Let's look at another open wound on the front leg of this Labrador Retriever. In the picture to the left, suture seal was applied to the open wound that did not heal following a mass excision for three months. Eight days later, you can see the healing progress of the wound in the picture to the right. Even though he continued to lick and chew at the wound, suture seal was able to keep the wound clean and dry. In the liquid form, suture seal soaks into the pores and tissue. An animal can lick off the excess bandage on the surface, but licking and chewing cannot disturb the polymer that has soaked in under the surface. Suture seal was applied to this red wolf at the Jacksonville Zoo who had a laceration on his elbow. The keepers wanted him to stay in his exhibit with his mate and could not use a bandage or e-collar on him. They applied suture seal and began an oral antibiotic regimen. Fourteen days later, the wound was almost completely healed. Suture seal has shown effectiveness on challenging incisions. In this picture, suture seal was applied to a large incision that could not be completely closed. After 14 days, the picture on the right shows the healing process without any other tradition wrap bandage being used. Because suture seal is transparent, the veterinarian was able to monitor the healing process and visually see the progress made. Suture seal is often used on orthopedic surgery incisions. The photo shows what suture seal looks like on the incision two days after application. Approximately three weeks later, you can see the incision healed nicely. Suture seal has been used on exotics. A hornbill at the Nashville Zoo presented with a severe break injury Suture seal was initially applied four days after the injury occurred. Due to the severity of the injury, a second application was applied. The picture on the right was taken on day 28 after the injury. 
The hornbill is almost completely healed with the use of suture seal. Our polymer is currently being tested on aquatic animals. There is a formulation of our polymer that can be mixed with the veterinarian's desired compound, and the vets at the Nashville Zoo wanted to try the polymer mixed betadine on wound found on this ornate frog. Ten days after application, you can see the wound is healing well. Suture seal was initially developed to protect wounds and incisions on horses. The vet applied suture seal on this horse's knee where there is high activity and movement. Suture seal was applied to the open wound and due to its flexibility, the wound stayed free of contaminants and debris. The picture on the right was taken after the wound had been under a traditional bandage for one week. Two weeks after suture seal was applied, the wound is almost completely healed and appears to be infection free. Suture seal is available direct or through distribution in box or case quantities. One box contains five kits of suture seal. One case contains 20 boxes or 100 kits. There are three levels of direct pricing available with higher volume levels. Suggested veterinarian retail pricing is $125 for a box of five suture seal single foil packets. For more information on suture seal or to place an order, please call or email Clayton Coder, the Director of Veterinarian Sales. Thank you for your interest in suture seal.